as we continue our devotion in Colossians, we're at chapter 1, verse 13. It said, He, God, has delivered us from the power of darkness and transformed us or transferred us into the kingdom of his son, of his love. I have a good friend, his name's Steve, Steve Finio, and he drives a delivery uh, a vehicle for FedEx. And there's one thing that I know about FedEx. They do all they can to get the package from one place to another. And unless somebody rejects it, they then return it to sender if it's the wrong address. I, I'm sure you've had uh, situations like that in your life. As I was reading this, God delivered us by his own power. It's not FedEx. It's not UPS. It's not a delivery or the U.S. post office. God himself has delivered us by his power from darkness through his son, Jesus Christ. There's no greater reason, I think, for rejoicing. If you're having a hard time rejoicing today, is to think that you have been transformed, transferred from darkness into the kingdom of his son, Jesus. Now, as I start thinking about the kingdom, it's not yes, necessarily the kingdom to come. We will experience that down the road. But it's a kingdom today where Jesus would say the kingdom of God is among you because Jesus was among the people. Can I encourage you? The kingdom is where Jesus is. Yes, there's a kingdom yet that we will experience. But the kingdom of God is the dwelling place of Christ and God's people. Enjoy his love this day. For you have been delivered from power of darkness that would just stop you from doing the things that are proper and right. And you've been delivered by God into the fellowship of his son. Enjoy his fellowship. That's our devotion. I hope you think and pray through those things. And I hope you find victory this week in just knowing it's the power of God who has taken you from darkness and delivered you into the ownership of his son and the fellowship of the saints. Hey, until we see each other again, or until you click on, may the grace of God go before you. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.